Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Chromecast for your TV. I have my TV here, I have my Chromecast here. Uh, this one's brand new, so I'm just going to quickly explain everything in the box. And uh, one thing I want to tell you guys is that right here you see google.com slash Chromecast slash setup. That is going to be the website you first go to when you plug in your Chromecast because you need to update it and you need to name it for your living room. Uh, second thing you're going to need to do is download the Chromecast application on your iPhone or Android. I have a Chromecast folder. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. There we go. I have a Chromecast folder for all my Chromecast applications. Um, I only have four right now, but there's tons and tons and tons of applications you can use with Chromecast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to play a movie that you might have legally downloaded. Um, Yiffy Torrance. <coughs> Yiffy <coughs> Torrance. <coughs> um, yeah, uh, that maybe take up like one gigabyte of space in your phone, but it has perfect 1080p resolution. Um, and I'm going to teach you guys how to cast that to the television from your phone. And in the process of casting uh, any movie or Netflix or whatever you're doing to the TV, you're going to be able to still use your phone like normal, still make calls while it's playing on the TV. So really quickly, I'm just going to go over what comes in the box and what you need to do. Alright, so first, here's your USB cable. I'm trying to unwrap it. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, so bear with me. Um, this is the USB that goes into your computer, your TV is going to, computer, what am I saying, TV, your computer, your TV is going to need a USB slot and a HDMI slot. If you don't have those in your TV, um, your other option is, like, like, say if you're missing the USB slot in your TV, or it's being used by something else you have this adapter right here that lets you plug it into the wall instead of plugging this into the USB in your TV. This will just allow the Chromecast to charge. Um, so you, you're charging your Chromecast uh, that's going to be plugged into the HDMI port from your USB slot of your TV. Now, like I said, if you don't have that USB slot available, that's why they give you this so you can plug it into the wall or plug it into an outlet and uh, it'll charge the Chromecast automatically. Um, the other side of this cable the other side of this cable is uh, a micro USB so what you're going to do with that is you're going to take the Chromecast and uh, you're just going to take off the tape first because this is brand new. Um, I have one in every TV of the house because it's awesome. I love this Chromecast. Um, so, just ripping off the tape. Like I said, bear with me because I'm doing this with one hand. So, there is your USB slot, your micro USB slot. So, what we're going to do is put the port, micro USB port. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. It's in there. And now, what you're going to do is go to your TV. And on the back, like I said, you need an HDMI port and a USB slot. So I have an HDMI port right here. Okay, and now I need to put the other side, the USB, in the USB port. So then when you turn the TV on, that's automatically going to charge the Chromecast for it to work. So now I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the TV. Oops, I got to turn on the cable box first, then the TV. I just, my TV requires the cable box to be on before we turn the TV on. There we go. I don't know why it does that. Okay, next thing you're going to do is I'm going for the remote, and you're going to have to change the input 
of the TV. So it says HDMI 1. That's my cable right now. Um, you're going to have to change the input to whatever HDMI cable you put it into. I think I have it on 3. Yeah, don't ask about my living room and the reflection. It's a mess. Okay, there we go. So it says my Chromecast setup. It says set me up. Visit me at Google slash Chromecast that slash setup. So what you're going to do is on your phone or on your device or on your laptop, computer, whatever, you're going to go to Google. You're going to go to the website, it says right there. So, google.com slash Chromecast slash set ups or set up yep set up and go welcome let's get you set up and casting okay visit the play store to download the chromecast app so since i already have the chromecast application i already downloaded it from the store you have iPhone users are going to have to download it from your app store as Android will download it from the Play Store. Let's set up Chromecast 3565. That's the one on the TV right now. So, set up. United States is my country. Okay. So now it's just connecting to Chromecast. Now you see it automatically gave me a code right there uh, that says W4M2. So it's saying. Uh, I see the code, right? Yeah, because I do see it. That means that I'm connected to the internet on my phone, and that means that the Chromecast is automatically uh, is automatically uh, um, detecting the application. So it says name Chromecast. I'm just going to name it Living Room. Sorry for the shaky camera. My hands are getting uh, kind of heavy. And uh, if it says connect your Chromecast to your Wi-Fi. So now this is going to allow me to connect the Chromecast to the Wi-Fi exactly as it says. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. That means the password to your router. So now it says connecting to your Chromecast or connecting your Chromecast to Love because Love is my network. See now it says Chromecast updating and right here you're just going to click continue and it says sweet you are ready to cast. So that was a very easy setup. Now it's loading and I love the Chromecast just because I could just put my legally downloaded movies in my phone and just cast them right to my TV or if you have them on your laptop remember the paid movies paid movies um, you can just uh, you can play with Google Chrome on a computer and then cast it to the TV I'm not sure how that'll work out but if you just transfer it to your phone or something and uh, or your tablet, it could be an iPad tablet, uh, Samsung tablet, whatever kind of tablet you use. Um, I'm not sure about Windows 8 tablet and how it's going to work with that, but um, then you'll be able to play a movie. So I'm going to go ahead and just play a movie in a second. Just hang on a second. Um, while we're waiting for that, actually, I want to tell you guys to download the application called real real player cloud cuz that plays with the chromecast if you go to chromecast application and you go to the back button you'll see it says devices it says discover apps and these are all the applications you you're able to play with the uh with the chromecast if you click more you can see a ton more apps like hulu crackle all these google play everything you can play 
um, with uh, Chromecast. Almost everything awesome. So download Real Player Cloud, and you might have to make an account really quick. It's still updating. You might have to make an account really quick, but um, if you have the movies on your phone, like I have, like Pacific Rim, right? And I want to play it from the start. What it'll do is automatically cast it right to the TV when I press the cast button. You'll see. You'll see. I'll show you guys in one second. 80, 80 percent. Come on, come on, come on. We could probably just skip like 10 seconds into this video from this point. Yeah, the, uh, the update takes a little bit, but you know, totally worth it. So now, no signal. Now it's restarting the Chromecast because uh, that's what devices have to do after you make an update is restart. So it automatically does it for you, so don't worry, don't panic. Chrome. And this is only a one-time setup, guys. You don't have to do this every time. For now on, you're just going to be able to go right to the input and right to your phone and cast it. So, now... Come on, hurry up. I only have four minutes left before YouTube won't let me upload it. There we go. Okay, so now it's, it's restarted and it says ready to cast. Uh, you could get the latest apps at Chromecast.com slash learn. Um, so, remember, we went into Real Player, and I just picked a movie that I put into my phone, and play from start. And now, you can see this button right up here. That says uh, Living Room, or whatever you named it. So, it says Living, like mine says Living Room. Uh, don't ask about the, the phone I'm recording with and the reflection, because it's a girly phone. It's my mom's. But, uh... Go ahead and just, you know, it's going to play on your device, and then just go ahead and cast to living room. And now watch. Look how cool this is. See? It's playing. It's going to, it's casting from my phone to the TV using my internet connection. Yeah! How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Woohoo! And now you can just go ahead and do whatever you want on your phone. And if you go scroll down to your notifications, you could pause and do all this. And uh, if you click the notification, you can rewind, fast forward, do all that cool stuff. You could control the volume. Really awesome. It was only, uh, I think you could get it, I think it was 35 bucks. And if you just click that, you could disconnect it, which I just did right now. I just disconnected it. It'll play on your phone. Um, you can pause it if you want, but uh, that's it. It's very, very easy. You could do this with Netflix, um, Netflix, Hulu, all these other cool applications, Google Play. Totally worth it. Um, most places you buy a Chromecast from lets you return them up to like 14 days. So uh, it was 35 bucks with tax. Totally worth it, though. Um, sometimes they have sales, make it go down to like 29.99. So uh, you can get this anywhere, guys. Staples, Best Buy, Amazon, whatever. All right, guys. Peace out. I hope I helped. And if I did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you, guys. Peace.